Hi there, welcome to Grain TV. It's Wednesday, October 12th. I'm Kevin McNew. We've had a down day in the markets. Let's take a look at Grain Edge's trading platform and see where we closed. In Chicago, corn and beans off eight and a quarter, while wheat in Chicago losing 11. The crop report was pretty benign, but traders took it to the downside after figuring soybean yields in particular will start to grow as we get further along in the growing season. But let's start first with some of the other news out today. Exporters sold another round of beans to China, this time 115,000 metric tons. Yesterday it was 165,000 metric tons of corn. So we continue to have good export demand, but we are certainly going to need it in light of large crops coming off the combines. Other news, the Fed, uh, mean, the Fed minutes from their September meetings was released today. Those, meet, those minutes showed sort of a divisive view on uh, potential for rate hikes, but overall the Fed sees uh, a likely rate hike coming soon if the U.S. economy continues to strengthen. So overall, that continues to support the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar has hit an eight-month high on this expectation as well as overall weakness in the euro and other currencies as well. So that is not very good news for commodities as we continue to see the U.S. dollar drift higher, making our exports that much more expensive. Let's take a look now at what the USDA report said uh, this morning at 11 o'clock Central Time. First of all, let's start with corn. Corn numbers were right in line pretty much with analyst expectations. Production right at 15.06 billion bushels, uh, yield just a fraction off of the expectation 173.5 uh, coming in at 173.4 and soybean yield as well coming in just a hair below expectations and production just a bit below. On the demand side though we did see USDA revise up their corn export forecast by 50 million bushels and their soybean forecast by 40 million bushels. Soybeans eclipsing 2 million or 2 billion bushels of exports expected by USDA for the first time ever. That's going to be a lofty goal in light of South America expected to ramp up their production their coming um, uh, season here. So overall we saw ending stocks uh, fall a little bit in corn going to 2.32 uh, billion bushels versus 2359 and soybeans coming in just a bit under the 413 million bushel mark and again most of that uh, as a result of better than expected exports but I think traders are really sort of thinking that future USDA reports will show bigger and bigger beans. We just keep hearing more and more reports about how good the bean yields are, especially in the heart of the Midwest. And we continue to see basis really get hammered today. You know, just a flurry of basis activity with all the river terminals pretty much up and down the Mississippi and Illinois River dropping basis by as much as eight to 10 cents a bushel today. So I wouldn't be surprised as would other traders, I think, to see higher soybean numbers uh, in future reports. Let's take a look at the action today around the report. We saw, you know, the market actually trying to strengthen going into the report. Corn was up two. Beans at one time was up eight or nine uh, before the report, before backing off to almost unchanged around the report. But once this report came out, we had a bit of a pulse higher. Uh, we did try to make a, a sort of an attempt to move higher, both in corn and beans, but that quickly eroded after about 15 to 20 minutes into the report, and we just moved progressively lower, with corn closing on the low of the days, as was beans. And in particular, corn, if we look at the daily chart here from the Grain Hedge Trading Platform, what we can see is, you know, now that we've sort of crossed below the 340 mark, I wouldn't be surprised if our next testing ground on the downside is 325 possibly leaving 350 uh, the upside target as uh, a ways off uh, given, the, given the full weight of harvest that's in front of us. That's all we've got for today on Grain TV. As always, if you'd like to learn more about how we can help you in your own grain marketing situation, visit us online at grainhedge.com and take a demo of our trading platform. As a Grain Edge trading client, you'll get our technical alerts email first thing every trading day. Technical Alerts is a powerful system that generates quality trading opportunities. Each trading opportunity shows a chart and analysis providing clear price targets and risk potential. 
Technical alerts look at historical chart formations and compare the current environment to the past to form concrete trading recommendations. The commodities covered by technical alerts includes grains, livestock, crude oil, currencies, bonds, and metals. Start your trading day with the most powerful insight into market direction and improve your trading today. Sign up at GrainHedge.com to become a client.